Hey everyone, John Krasinski here. Remember Gladiator? That movie was awesome. It was one of those films that just left a mark on everyone who watched it. The story, the action, the drama, it had everything. I remember the first time I saw it, I was completely blown away. The visuals, the performances, the music, everything was just top notch. It's one of those movies that you can watch over and over again and still find something new to appreciate. Released in the year 2000, Gladiator told the epic story of Maximus Decimus Meridius, a Roman general who was loved by the people and the army alike. The film was directed by Ridley Scott, who is known for his incredible ability to create visually stunning and emotionally gripping movies. The screenplay was written by David Franzoni, John Logan and William Nicholson, and it was inspired by Daniel P. Mannix's 1958 book, Those About to Die. Maximus, played by the talented Russell Crowe, was a Roman general who led his troops to victory in numerous battles. He was a man of honour and integrity, deeply loyal to the true emperor, Marcus Aurelius. However, his life took a tragic turn when he was betrayed by Commodus, the ambitious and ruthless son of Marcus Aurelius. Commodus, portrayed by Joaquin Phoenix, was a character driven by jealousy and a thirst for power. He murdered his own father to seize the throne and, in a cruel twist of fate, ordered the execution of Maximus's family. This act of treachery set the stage for Maximus's transformation from a respected general to a vengeful gladiator. Stripped of his rank and sold into slavery, Maximus was forced to become a gladiator. He was taken to the far reaches of the Roman Empire, where he was trained to fight in the brutal arenas. Despite the harsh conditions and the constant threat of death, Maximus's spirit remained unbroken. He fought not just for survival, but for the chance to avenge his family and restore his honor. Maximus's journey through the gladiatorial ranks was nothing short of extraordinary. He faced numerous opponents, each battle more challenging than the last. His determination and skill earned him the respect of his fellow gladiators and the adoration of the Roman crowds. But Maximus had a singular focus, to confront Commodus and seek justice for the wrongs done to him and his loved ones. Gladiator was a huge hit when it was released. Audiences around the world were captivated by its epic storytelling, stunning visuals and powerful performances. The film's success was not just limited to the box office, it also received critical acclaim and numerous awards. At the 73rd Academy Awards, Gladiator won five Oscars, including Best Picture and Best Actor for Russell Crowe. The film's success at the Oscars was a testament to the hard work and dedication of everyone involved in its creation. From the director and writers to the actors and crew, Gladiator was a true team effort. One of the standout features of Gladiator was its incredible action sequences. The battle scenes were meticulously choreographed and brought to life with stunning special effects. Whether it was the grand battles in the open fields or the intense gladiatorial combats in the Colosseum, each action scene was a visual spectacle that left audiences on the edge of their seats, but Gladiator was more than just an action movie. It had a powerful story about justice, redemption, and the human spirit. Maximus's journey was one of lost suffering and, ultimately, triumph. His quest for vengeance was driven by a deep sense of justice and a desire to honor the memory of his family. The film's emotional depth resonated with audiences and added a layer of complexity to the epic narrative. Gladiator left a lasting impact on the film industry and on audiences around the world. Its success helped to revive the sword and sandal genre, which had been largely dormant for decades. The film's influence can be seen in many subsequent movies and TV shows that explore similar themes and settings. The sword and sandal genre, characterized by its epic tales of ancient history and mythology, was given new life by Gladiator. The film's success demonstrated that there was still a strong appetite for these kinds of stories, and it paved the way for other films and series to explore similar themes. Even today, Gladiator continues to resonate with audiences. Its themes of honor, justice, and redemption are timeless, and its epic storytelling and memorable characters have ensured its place in the pantheon of great films. Fans of the movie still gather to watch it, discuss it, and celebrate its legacy. And now, more than two decades after the original film's release, fans have something new to look forward to. Gladiator 2, The Call of Heroes is on the horizon. 
The sequel promises to continue the epic story and bring new adventures and challenges to the world of ancient Rome. The anticipation for Gladiator 2 is palpable. Fans are eagerly awaiting the return to the world of Maximus and the chance to see what new stories and characters will be introduced. Are you excited? I know I am. The legacy of Gladiator lives on and I can't wait to see what the future holds for this iconic franchise. Ridley Scott is back in the director's chair. The legendary filmmaker known for his meticulous attention to detail and grandiose vision is once again taking the helm of a major project. His return has sparked excitement and curiosity among fans and critics alike. He directed the first Gladiator, a film that has since become a classic in the annals of cinema. The original Gladiator, released in 2000, was a monumental success, earning numerous awards and accolades, including five Academy Awards. It was a film that captivated audiences with its powerful storytelling, stunning visuals and unforgettable performances. Scott is a visionary filmmaker. His ability to create immersive and compelling worlds is unparalleled. From the dystopian future of Blade Runner to the historical epic of Gladiator, Scott's films transport viewers to different times and places, making them feel as if they are a part of the story. He's known for his epic storytelling. He creates immersive worlds that draw audiences in and keep them engaged from start to finish. His films are not just visual spectacles, they are rich narratives that explore complex themes and characters. Scott's ability to blend visual grandeur with deep storytelling is what sets him apart as a filmmaker. Scott has said that the sequel will be a continuation and has expressed his desire to build upon the foundation laid by the original film, expanding the story and exploring new dimensions of the characters and the world they inhabit. This approach promises to bring fresh perspectives while maintaining the essence of what made the original so beloved. It won't be a remake. Scott is clear that the new film will not simply retread old ground, instead it will forge its own path offering new experiences and insights while honouring the legacy of the original. This distinction is crucial as it sets the stage for a film that respects its roots while daring to innovate. He wants to honour the original. Scott has a deep respect for the work that went into the first Gladiator and he is committed to preserving its spirit. This means staying true to the themes, tone and style that made the original film a masterpiece while also pushing the boundaries to create something new and exciting. But he also wants to tell a new story. Scott is not content to simply revisit the past. He is eager to explore new narratives and ideas. This drive for innovation is what keeps his work fresh and relevant, ensuring that each new project offers something unique and compelling. Scott is keeping the plot under wraps. Details about the sequel's storyline are being closely guarded, adding to the anticipation and intrigue. This secrecy is typical of Scott, who often prefers to let his films speak for themselves rather than revealing too much in advance. He's hinted at some things. In interviews and public appearances, Scott has dropped a few tantalizing clues about what fans can expect. These hints suggest that the sequel will delve into new territories, exploring themes and characters that were only touched upon in the original film. The sequel will explore new characters, Scott has indicated that the new film will introduce a host of new characters, each with their own stories and motivations. This expansion of the cast promises to add depth and complexity to the narrative, offering fresh perspectives and new dynamics. It will also revisit familiar themes. While the sequel will chart new territory, it will also return to the themes that made the original so powerful. Themes of honor, loyalty and the struggle for freedom will once again be at the forefront providing a sense of continuity and resonance. How will Scott innovate in the new movie? This is one of the biggest questions on everyone's mind. Scott is known for his willingness to embrace new technologies and techniques, and there is much speculation about how he will push the envelope with this new project. Whether through groundbreaking visual effects, innovative storytelling methods, or cutting-edge production techniques, Scott is sure to bring something new and exciting to the table. We'll have to wait and see. As with all of Scott's projects, the true magic will only be revealed when the film finally hits the screen. Until then, fans can only speculate and anticipate what promises to be another epic chapter in Ridley Scott's illustrious career.
Gladiator 2 features an impressive cast. The anticipation for this sequel has been building ever since the original film captivated audiences with its epic storytelling and powerful performances. Now, with a new ensemble of actors, the excitement is palpable. Paul Mescal will play Lucius. Known for his breakout role in Normal People, Mescal brings a fresh yet intense energy to the character. Lucius, who was just a child in the first film, has now grown into a young man with his own story to tell. He's the grown-up nephew of Commodus. This connection to the original film's antagonist adds layers of complexity to his character. Lucius's journey from innocence to maturity will be a central theme in the sequel. Connie Nielsen will return as Lucilla. Her portrayal of Lucilla in the first film was both regal and poignant, capturing the struggles of a woman torn between family loyalty and moral integrity. She was Lucius's mother in the first film. Her return promises to delve deeper into the mother-son relationship and how it has evolved over the years. Lucilla's wisdom and strength will undoubtedly play a crucial role in guiding Lucius. Jim and Hunso is also